And now, a lesson in the proper use of the great American tool for embarrassment, hum humiliation, and general stupidity. The whoopee cushion. Now, this is an off-brand whoopee cushion, I know, because it has a slight leak in one side, and it doesn't have the uh, bronze tear logo on the front. Now, your whoopee cushion should not be inflated too much and not too little. You should have just enough play in it that you can squeeze it from the bottom to the top without setting off any ga gas. <coughs> Inflate it too much and you get an unintentional gas release. And we all know that can be embarrassing. Now, the typical whoopee cushion sound is caused by pressure on both ends, both from someone's butt and the underlying chair. Observe. That is the typical sound. However, through manipulation of the fart nozzle, as I call it, that sounds like an insult, doesn't it? Hey, a fart nozzle. It's actually possible to cause a completely different noise than originally intended. Now, pressure to one side creates a squeaking sound. Okay, I was wrong. Pressure near the neck of the fart nozzle creates the squeaking sound. About right here. We've all heard those before. I think Tom's home, by the way. Pressure near the end of the fart nozzle increases the boisterousness of the fart. Oh, that sounded like it hurt. Now, proper placing on a chair should be near the center of the chair where the butt will be hitting most equal. The fart nozzle should be aimed away from the area. Aiming it out of the other direction will muffle the sound. Now, I'm going to pretend that I'm, that I'm an unsuspecting victim of a whoopee cushion related prank. I certainly hope nobody put a whoopee cushion on this chair. I'm really tired. Oh my, how embarrassing. Now, you observe that the uh, nozzle was pointed out between the legs of the subject. This is different for a woman who usually sits close legged. So, setting the fart nozzle a little offset is, is often required. Speak amongst yourselves. Okay. Now, observe this glacier. Slightly cockeyed. To come up from the side. Okay, now I'm a woman. Alright, and I'm sitting. I can't do a woman voice. I'm very sick. Right, this is exactly what can go wrong. All right. See? Now, typically women don't make that much noise. So, you know, it's very embarrassing. This is the uh, advantage of the whoopee cushion. Other uses for a whoopee cushion is slapping people, which hurts, and also as a frisbee. Ooh, I just knocked over my rare ray I on the figure eight. I better pick it up. Until next time, just remember, whoopee cushions are all good and fun, but some places they should be avoided. Um, like political rounds or uh, funerals. Ooh, definitely not funerals. Uh, weddings are fair play, but you want to wait to the reception. And uh, generally, a bar mitzvah is okay, but not a bris. Okay, nobody wants to hear that in a bris. All right. Now, now that you've learned, I hope that you go out and have your own whoopee cushion exploits and have a lot of fun with them. The samurai has spoken.